So obviously you know, Arsenal is still a club very close to your heart and you keep an eye on them. What, what do you make of Unai Emery and how he started at Arsenal? The yeah, first two games was not good, um, but I know the one against Chelsea, they're supposed to win. But um, that's football. But after that, um, they picked up. Uh, they have won out of five, they have won three, lost two, which is brilliant. And uh, the way they're playing, uh, the players are, are responding to what he wants. The, the standards you set as a player at Arsenal and your teammates meant that they have a lot to live up to. What do you think will be regarded as a success for the club this season? Um, I say it's difficult for them to win the league, but it's doable if they keep playing the way they are playing now. Um, but if they can come uh, second, third or fourth, yeah, it's a success. How many years do you think it will be before they're challenging for the Premier League again? Uh, for me, I think this season they might win it. Like I said, it's doable. But uh, it's not me saying it, it's the players not believing in what he's telling them. And uh, yeah, have that mentality that they're going to be up there and win the league. You know, you have to have the spirit and believe that you can do it. Uh, but if not, in the next uh, a couple of years, two years, definitely they will, honestly. It's become very sort of tight and tough to win the league now with Liverpool and Manchester City so strong. Would you say they're the two favourites? Um, as it's going, if you look at uh, the games, the five games, we say so, but that's not football. Um, we have to wait till um, December, then we can really now say who's going to win the league. But as, as the team, as the players, as a club, I believe they're the two uh, strongest ones now. Uh, but um, you know the league have changed. Right now you have almost like six uh, good teams, strong teams that um, have to you know fight for the title. Um, what about Obama Yang's role at Arsenal? He seems like he's going to be a very important player. Do you think he can go on to become one of a, a great all-time Arsenal great? Yeah, if you look at his record, he keeps scoring goals, and uh, that's what he loves doing. Um, if he can click this season for Arsenal, yeah, they might win the league. But um, you know you have two strikers. Have like I said, you have him. So, but for him, he's on fire now. Let him keep doing that and keep delivering, and uh, who knows? Do you think the club is missing Arsene Wenger, having been there for so long? Uh, definitely the club, we, because of uh, he's been there for long, as you said. But, um, of course, um, we have a new uh, trainer, and he's bringing something different, and um, people are walking towards what he's bringing in. Um, yeah, the club will miss him, but that's not um, the end of Arsenal. Arsenal have to move on, and that's what's happening. I mean, I don't know, are you in touch with him at all? No. Do you know if he's going to go back to work soon or what his plans are? <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know. I don't know. Um, that's his decision, and uh, who knows, but I don't know. Can I just ask you a couple of questions about Ajax, if that's OK? I mean, do you think, how do you think they're going to get on this season in their Champions League campaign? Um, yeah, they're going to do well, knowing that... Um, in uh, previous years, they haven't done well as a club in, uh, in the Champions League. Uh, but I see there's a, a difference now. Uh, uh, the club, um, they really want to uh, show the world that Ayas is not only playing in the league in Holland, but uh, trying to show the world they are one of the big clubs who can uh, compete. So do you think they can get out of their group? Yeah, I think so. Everything is possible. <laughs> Thank you.